In this tutorial I'll show you how to use the echo effect to create this type of visual that you can use in your motion graphics or video edits. Okay, so let's start off with creating a text, call this echo. And I'm just going to center it to my composition. Now let's go ahead and open up Animation Composer. I mentioned this before, it's a free type of plugin with a bunch of presets that you can apply to your texts and other things. And it's very quick and convenient. So. Let's go with something bouncy here. I want, uh, yeah, this one. Okay, so it comes in like this. As you can see, we created this in seconds. Uh, let me just go ahead and disable the rotation and maybe more bounce and slow this down. A little bit slower. All right, close this down. And now let's add our own touch here. So let's go with something like this, stays and go back to 100, F9. I'm just creating this to demonstrate how the effect works. You don't have to repeat these steps. So here's what we got. Comes in, zoom, and zoom. All right, now let's go ahead and add the echo effect. And right from the start, you can see it's already echoing the visuals we've got. So like a sound echo, it does the same with visuals. Now there's not a lot of settings you wanna play here. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the number to five. Um, maybe the decay to 0 0.8 and we're good to go. All right, as you can see, it echoes everything we've got. Now this might be a little too much, so you can go ahead and play with the settings here. Let's say, and maybe slow this down here, uh, 0 0.02, yep. Okay, so let's do the same, but with a video. So I have this video of a car drifting and what I'm gonna do is find a frame I want to transition in. So let's say this one gonna control shift D on this and freeze this frame. Now I'm gonna mask around my car, I'm gonna speed this up. As you can see it's not perfect but it's gonna be enough. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this and we're gonna copy the echo we created right before and paste it here. Let me disable this and animate the car coming in. So let's go to the first frame, hit position, off frame, and about here, it should go into frame, like so. And play with the graph here, whatever. So it comes in like this. Now this is already pretty cool and you can actually turn on motion blur and receive a similar effect. But using the echo effect we just created, let's go ahead and change this to composite in front. And in case you don't see the echo effect, make sure this is selected. And as you can see, let's go ahead and adjust this just a bit. So maybe sooner like this and decay it just by a bit. So this is what we have. All right, that's pretty cool. So that's how you create this type of effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.